Hi, my name is Instructor Tivon, and I'm here today to show you how to execute this game. First, we're going to show you how to set up the game, then we're going to show you how to properly run the game, and finally, we're going to go over some safety aspects to make sure that this game is the best for your students. This is how you set up for Dragon Tail. You're going to split up your students into even teams. We have two teams of four and a team of three, um, and also, you're going to set them across the dojong. I also have some bridges set up in between because when they're playing the game, they're only allowed to touch the red and not touch the black, except the bridges as well. This is how you play Dragon Tail. When you set up your students into equal teams, they're going to be connected by putting their belt behind them. With that, they're going to be grabbing on by the back of their belts, and the last person of the team is going to have a little tail hanging out of their belt. The goal is to make sure that is for the other team to grab their flag, and then they win. Also, when you're playing, the students are only allowed to be on the red, and they cannot touch the black. We do have bridges in the middle for them to use to walk across the black as well. Another rule is that if, when you are hanging on to your partner's belt, you cannot let go of them. If you let go, then the whole team is out, and then they do not win the game. Ready, get set, go! There you go. Not too fast, not too fast, Drew, not too fast. There you go, catch up, catch up, catch up, woo! And you good, Ava? So your team is out, just go ahead and take a seat. Oh, that seemed like go. Oh, you guys are out too. And good job to Molly's team. Here are some safety aspects to play Dragon Tail. When the students are hanging on to the belts from behind, make sure that they're not pulling too hard um, and that they're not running too fast either. Since they are all attached by the hands in the belt, if one person falls, then the whole, everybody will fall as well. So there's no sprinting and as well still no screaming. These are some final tips on how to run this game. Remember, safety is our number one priority. Also, a great way to get that energy up to, and to get the kids smiling is to use your music and to have the best M4548 that you can. Also, make sure that you're having fun with the kids and play the game with them. If you have any questions, please turn to your operations manager and they can answer any questions that you have. I hope you have a great time running this game.